Oh, Inferno. Ultra violence. Here we go. Alright, so even though I had a lot to say, I'm not gonna repeat myself. Before. I mean, I might, but like I said, the way how this song first starts off, it's, at first it doesn't feel like anything similar to the original song for this level, but as it progresses more, you can actually start hearing it. Like right now, you can really start hearing that this is definitely the music for the first level of this of um, episode 3. And to do a quick recap, if you haven't been following my shit, fuck a tree. If you haven't been following my Doom streams or my Doom content on my YouTube channel, so we are now in episode three, which is in hell itself of the of the first Doom game. So knee deep in the dead, we start off on the Phobos moon, and then episode two, you start off on. The Demos, Dimos moon, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but that's the one where you end up finding out that that moon is floating above hell, so at, so you have no other alternative but to descend into hell to try and put an end to uh, all that's happening. But so far I do kind of like the more modernized, like rocked out feeling. Now granted, even the old school music had a rocked out feeling. It's just more of a MIDI or MIDI um, sound file. But yes, this game is very loud as fuck, but like I said, I should have it toned down where it's not going to blow your guys' eardrums. So, if I am talking a little bit louder than what I should be, I apologize. Luckily, this is a short level, so it's not like I was wasting my time to do a quick restart for the recording purposes. Groovy, get three multi-kills with a shotgun. Hmm. So I see, do doormat, crush a corpse in a door. So I see, so they added some new uh, achievement features with this uh, updated game. That's kind of cool. Alright, that is level one. Quarter, finish a level with 100% pick pickup, clean slate, kill all monsters in every, and hurt me plenty or higher. All right, bring on the achievements. So I'm not complaining. And then I also got my cousin and brother-in-law's podcast running in the background. That I, if you like that podcast, if anyone's interested in giving them a listen, or IBLT podcast on Twitch. Oh, shit, I was wondering where that pinky fuck went. Come on, run into each other. Alright, Sloth of Despair is usually hit or miss, and when I say hit or miss, I mean because sometimes I get fucked due to... Why didn't I pick up the clip? Oh, or maybe I did. I get screwed over due to lack of resources, or sometimes because of what's around, these pillars and stuff, I might accidentally sidestep into something, or run into a specter, just like that, and somehow fuck myself over. But so far, I'm actually really loving it. Uh, actually, you know what? There's a Berserk pack, so that'll greatly help me. Shit, I didn't get a full lockdown shot on him, so might. Alright, let me see if I can get that Berserk really quick, assuming... Shit, come here, specter. Come here, shit. The screen didn't turn red. I guess that's a feature they took away in this update. Fuck you, bitch. Alright, let's go to our... Ah, oh, shit. Did my settings not save? I thought they saved. Oh, wait. That's the shotgun. Duh. There we go. <laughs> I forgot I have it set to my mouse wheel to, to when it clicks over to the right. Trying to somewhat keep the controls consistent with, um, like, my Doom 2016 Doom Eternal type controls, so I can do this quick swap instead of having to reach over and hit, like, the one number of keys or anything like that. Because I'm like, 
why isn't this working? But yet I'm pushing the button that's already from my shotgun, so I'm clearly the idiot. Alright, fuck. Two for one. Alright. So far, even though we're kind of running out of resources, we're also making up with resources. Oh, who was trying to shoot at me? There we go. And then, unlike, you know, the modern Doom games, where you can actually chainsaw these assholes to get some ammo out of them, it doesn't work that way in the classic. Because it's old school grinding. Shit, they're backing me into the corner. You're gonna let Tiger out the cage, bro. Oh shit. Alright. Damn it. Alright. Almost had to resort to fucking punch him in his fugly face. Come on. There we go. Dive at me, bro. Dive at me, bro. Or fly at me, I guess, in this case. Stupid. Alright, not sure if that opened something back here. Oh, yes it did. And you know what? Fuck these guys. Save ammo. Punch them. I mean, I know technically it was never made as a multiplayer game, but you know what would be really cool? Like if they re... If, uh... They actually, uh... Re not redid, but just reprogrammed Doom 64 to work as a multiplayer game. That would be pretty cool. I would love to play Doom 64 as multiplayer. Now let's go down the middle. Oh no! Yes! Fight with each other because you're stupid. At least I like the fact how you can kind of stun lock them. And there's, some of them are fighting with each other, which is nice. Nope. He's like, you wouldn't get in the way this time, motherfucker. He hit you. You should turn around and hit him. At least these ones aren't as aggressive like the ones in Doom 64. Like the what? Oh, shit. The ones in Doom 64, they are merciful, merciless. They will fucking constantly attack you even after they've already hit you. It's like a constant use of those. Those ones are a little bit I wouldn't say tougher to deal with, but they can be a pain in the fucking ass though. Is this the exit? Or is this? No, I don't think this is the exit. Because I'm not ready to exit yet. Oh, I guess that was an exit, so I guess I was ready to exit. I didn't see an exit thing, but whatever. It is what it is. Because I know there was more to it to that level, but maybe next time. It's been a while since I've played that level. Actually, this that one, Soft of Despair, is actually my least favorite level. In the Inferno episode. I like this remix. You know what? I almost resorted to wanting to punch him, but I forgot that the Berserker only lasts for each level. <laughs> Unlike the, uh... I mean, too bad the Berserk doesn't work the same way like how it does in, like, 2016 or Eternal, where you just fucking just rip them apart, but it is what it is because glory kills weren't a thing back in these days. Not that hot yet, but it's slowly getting there where I might have to resort to putting on the AC. He just hit you! Attack him! Okay, cool. He's dead. And I think it's funny how the crosshair doesn't line up. Oh, well, it does now, but like when I'm shooting it, it's funny how it looks like the gun's not lining up with the crosshair if anyone hasn't noticed. Alright, so 
like I said, like I always say, I like to go left first. Now, I don't really notice of much of the textures being revamped for 4K, but they did um, revamp this for the purpose. Uh, God damn it! I know that's not going to be enough to maybe down, or it might be more than enough to ground these two. Probably just not Mr. Pinky up there. Take my fucking brass knuckles, bitch. God, this is one of chainsaw would really come in handy. Come on. There we go. Not sure how many fucking more here you go. Shells, but it's only four, but about uh, eight. Some is better than it's funny how your character can squeeze into that little shaft. <laughs> shaft. Alright, so nothing there. Alright, Senor Baron, I will deal with you later because I am low on resources and I know 20 shells may or may not be enough to take you out. Alright, there's a box right here, so that helps to increase. Come on! Oh shit! Luckily, you ran out at me instead of just waiting to be like, Surprise, motherfucker! Biatch! That specter ran out like, Welcome to hell, bitch! Come on, fight with each other. That's right. Be good little bitches. Alright, they're still over there. Oh, so this an important looking door. Find a secret area. Yeah, that's right. Oh shit. There's a berserk right there. Come on! Fudge. That was the wrong one. At least I know the pistol can stop these guys mid flight, which is nice. That's right, fuck each other up. Turn your rage on each other. I'm guessing. Oh, okay, that's, that's good. Um, I, you know what, I actually never really played or finished Heretic. I actually never really played it from start to finish, but I really hope, like, if this does... I mean, Doom's a very popular game regardless, but I just hope that maybe eventually uh, it lets uh, Bethesda or whomever, like, take over for um, Heretic and the Hexen games and revamp them. I would really love to play those again, especially since playing... Um, Hexen or Heretic in DOS mode kind of sucks donkey balls. Or, you know, playing the DOS versions, I should say, because those ones I can't really stream because the resolution's so low that it's not recognizable in OBS. Alright, so that's done with that secret area. And... There you go. Chain gun. Oh shit. Motherfuckers. Okay, so this is where Senor Baron was, so let's uh let's use the shotgun on him right now. To weaken him a little bit. Shit. Ah oh, fuck! Wrong button! Shit! I totally fucked myself. What? Wait. Oh, did I not set a button? There it is. Shit. 
I almost pulled a Captain Dum Dum moment like my sister would do. But she ain't paying attention, so she can't do her Captain Dum Dum emoji. <laughs> or emote, whatever the fuck it's called. Fuck, that was close. I had like 2% fucking health left. And that Baron could have just caught my ass while I was running around, running away. Oh, so there's two Barons. Oh shit. Okay, so that's where... Okay, yeah, okay, so this is where that area leads to, okay. You know, you're getting hit in the ass by your own team. Why don't you turn around and kill them, you son of a bitch? See? I mean, as long... I mean, I'm not sure if it damages you or not, but if it does, that would be... That's a benefit for me. Another secret... Oh, shit. Now I forgot. Am I supposed to... Okay, I don't want to screw myself. Ooh, the BFG! There we go. Not trying to screw myself, but let's get the fuck out of here. All right, cool. And now, I think, I think there's uh, an invulnerability thing down here. Isn't it? Yep. Ow. All right. I'm pretty sure there's pointless having this thing now, but if not, let's take advantage of it while we still can. Which, right now, I'm just kind of letting it burn out like a jackass when I should be capital- Oh, fuck. When I should be capitalizing on it. Alright, so... Alright, so... Where is... The blue key at? Do I have to go straight ahead? Where did I miss the blue key at? Like I said, it's been a while since I've played the third episode, but... Episode... Oh, up here, okay. So, episode one and two, I know pretty well. It's just that this one, I don't play as much. So, actually, let's go... Ah, fuck, let's go through. This one, I don't play as much as the other two episodes, but... But then again... Nothing, if there's nothing wrong with trying to, hey, re-familiarize, familiarize yourself or the element of surprise because you forgot or don't know much because you hardly play this particular one. So let's go on this side now. Blasting in your fucking face, you piece of shit. Alright, what's down here? That's gonna take us up to the other side, but let's see what's down over. Ah, oh, here's the blue key. Alright, so all those fuckers are dead, so let's go up here now. This is a one-time use. Oh, I'm stuck. I was like, why can't I go anywhere? Okay, so that takes us... No, wait. So now let's go this way now, so we can at least somewhat try and 100% this area. If we're able to. Okay, so this is just taking me back to a certain area that we've probably already been to then, so let's go in here. Oh! Oh no, I just said I took the engine. Okay, so that should be everything for the most part, and then once we get to this, this blue door, then we're going to come across some more action. Yep. Go. I think that's everything. Nope, no monsters in here. What did we get? What did we get? Oh, so I missed missed something. Got 100 items, almost 100 secrets. That took us about nope, over 10 minutes. Almost 11 minutes to complete that level. All right, House of Pain. This is one of my favorite levels in this. I love I love the music. This is a little different. Or the music, I'd say, sounds... Obviously, it's a remix, so of course it sounds a little different, but... 
a little bit interesting with like the drum effects and stuff. But I, I love the music for this song. I mean this level. I always have, even in the original. Let's go this way real quick. That worked. Alright, and I think there's nothing here, just some pinkies or demons as they are. Oh, what the hell? Or demons as they are called originally, because they didn't have an actual, a unique name for them at the time. Actually, not. Fuck this. Let's just rock these ass fucks. I was hoping to get a two for one on that, but nope. Okay, so let me save real quick because I believe I'm going to enter an area where once I hit that teleporter, I'm going to get spawned into a room with a bunch of a-holes. Or, yep. Or, never mind. They end up spawning behind me over here. Oh shit! I kind of saw the, the teleport thing, but I didn't pay no attention to it. Or react too slow to that thing. I don't like... That's one thing I don't like about the this update, is that your screen doesn't highlight when you pick up items. But other than that, it is what it is. Oh, that's right. It's just baddies from this side. Okay, so nothing of significance of worth giving two shits about. So let's move forward. Go up to the stairs. Timing is everything. Kill two enemies with a single barrel explosion. You're too fat. You can't fit. Nanny, nanny, nanny. You missed me, bitch. Where's that floating head at? Fuck you, bitch. Okay, now, if I remember correctly, if you don't set these crushers off, you should be able to open, lift these up. So let's go ahead and go by really quick. Boom, boom, yes. So now, ah, fuck it. Nope. I got the Berserker and we have invulnerability for right now. So I will just box these guys to save some ammo. And then watch, no my luck, it goes away when I'm in the middle of boxing these ass fucks. Alright, cool. Let's pick up these shells. And like I said, there's no fucking indication when like your power-ups are gonna go away, which kinda suck. Like that. So it's kinda one of those things where you have to be... Pay attention. Not sure how I missed that, probably because I uh, accidentally rolled the mouse when I was trying while I was shooting him. Damn! I love that guitar riff. That was pretty cool. Come here, um, Kinkies, Kinkolas. Making sure I don't accidentally back myself into a corner, meow. That's a habit I sometimes have of doing when I play Doom 2016 or Doom Eternal. Alright. So this is act that's the right way. That's, or technically I think that's the right way, but before we do that, and those barrels are there for a reason, because there's going to be a Baron on the other side, if I remember correctly. Oh, never mind, there's the Baron. 
So, let me get him to follow me over here. See if we can set him up really quick for these barrels. Come here, Mr. Baron. I got some barrels I want you to play with. I want you to actually blow up these barrels, you bitch. Come on. That's it, baby. Uh-oh. Not sure how much damage that did, but... Nearly not enough if I still had to if I still have to use three rockets. So that didn't do shit. So before we go to the blue door, let's go this way really quick. Now if I remember, that's locked, so yeah, we have to hit that switch to get ourselves out. Just a small little trap. Okay, I thought there was a secret in there, but I guess not. Alright, time to go through the blue door. Double kill. Time to say it was double kill, I just don't like saying it. But I should, for the achievement I got... Well, actually, no, never mind. That was during the non-recording part of this stream, so I can't throw in the... Halo triple kill like I got earlier, which I'm a little disappointed about, but it is what it is. That's what I get for fucking up being stupid. All right, so before we go that way, let's go this way. Punch this motherfucker in his fucking fuck up the face. So, I know some people don't like Chain, but I, so far, really en really enjoying the- oh shit, really enjoying this remix soundtrack for Inferno, so I'm pretty sure the remix soundtrack for, like, episode 1 and 2 and even 4 are gonna sound just as great. I mean, if you- oh shit, if you agree, let me know in the chat or in the comments below. Goddammit, if you happen to be catching this on YouTube after the fact. And it's like, you don't even hear the, the, um, like, you don't even hear the sounds for the pickups either, which I don't like either. I thought that was like a... A man and a half. Get 20 kills using the Berserk power-up in a single level. Oh, in a single level. Okay, so I guess I killed over 20. I will take it. Here's where Mr. Baron's gonna come out. Actually, you know what? Fuck this motherfucker. Kia, bitch! Overkill. O only kill a single enemy with a BFG blast. Oh, a single? Well, obviously a demon's gonna... I figure for the BFG, since it can kill multiple targets, I figured they would have it set for, uh... The achievement for uh, kill multiple, like a certain amount of targets with the BFG, but whatever. What ifs? I thought there was something in there. And does this open anything? Let me see. Thought there was like a hidden wall. I guess not. All right. So now we can go this way now, because I think this way over here is technically the right way. This one is actually pretty neat. You have to go here, that opens one door, and then you have to go here. I thought that was like a secret. There it is. Oh shit. Actually, what am I doing? Save your ammo! You got the berserk! Punch these motherfuckers to death. Just fucking punch their fucking faces off like Shorty and Killer Clown. Are you gonna knock my block off? 
Guns are for wusses. Get 25 kills with your fists in a single level. Bitch. Bitch. Ah, uh, he got me that time, motherfucker. Double kill. And then playing a game like this would be cool because in multiplayer because there is friendly fire, believe it or not, and doom. It's not a feature that you can turn off. So I know, like, if we had, like, the whole entire gang, me, Patrick, and my cousin, and then if we can get a fourth, I could see a lot of fucking accidental betrayals fucking happening. I mean, it happens all the time with two people alone, like, especially, like, when me and my brother would play uh, Halo, there'd be times where, like, uh, I'm trying to... Uh, hit hit an enemy with the stock of my gun and then my uh, brother-in-law will accidentally run in front of me or, or vice versa where he'll do the same to me and so I, I accidentally kill us because of apparently hitting someone from behind with, in Halo is an automatic kill per se. Alright, so we got the yellow key. So before we go there I think is that a secret? No. Okay, so let's go ahead and open. Oh! Oh! Motherfucker! Alright, so there's the orange door. So before we go there, is there anything in here? Just. Uh just some ammo. Alright, red skull key. Red skull door. How the hell did I miss that? You saw suck at you. Good thing I got- OH SHIT! Oh shit. Good thing I got that supercharge. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, let's do that. Come this way. Come to me, my pinky. All right, so let's go ahead and pick up these. Oh, shit. Good thing they line up some health. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay. Let me go ahead and grab this shit. Get some health. Get some health. Alright, so we're back to 100%. So not gonna complain too much. Drop down. Fuck you up. Oh shit. I missed again. I missed again. There we go. Alright, let's get the fuck down here and decimate these guys with my feast. Yeah! I'm a fucking punching motherfucker right now. Oh, okay. shit. Alright, what's behind here? What's behind here? Of course, it's gonna be a caco. Instead of an imp, because we're in the higher episodes now, they're gonna stick a caco near the exit. Exit time! Alright, what do we score on this run? Oh, we missed uh, 2%. Nope. No hundo. And let's see how long it took us to complete this level. Alright, so that is House of Pain. So moving on. Oh, I guess uh, Brian and Patrick are done streaming. I didn't get no notifications. Not sure if they raided me or not, or if it's just two other people who are watching. Welcome. Unholy Cathedral. Alright, so like I said, I always like to go left to right. When it comes to Doom, so we'll go this way. This I like, kind of like with the violin type thing. More instrumenting for this level in the very beginning part.
I can honestly see this actually rocking like if they actually revamped and modernized um, the classic Doom. But I still like it either way. It's still I think it still fits well with the classic, having the the more modern remix music with the with the classic game. Okay, let's see here. Let's take these guys out first in this room before we proceed to the next. Oh. Brian can't raid from his fucking channel? Or from the channel, or what? Here we go with the pinkies. Oh fuck, of course it's one of those areas that's locked that that locks behind you. Okay. Oh, there's a supercharge, which is nice. Oh, this this is actually this is considered a secret area? Okay. Ooh, we got the plasma rifle now. With the rapid fire action. Oh, what a jackass. Yeah, bitch, you can't handle this plasmaness. That's gonna take me outside. That's gonna probably take oh no, that's gonna take me to the next area. Ah shit, this area hurts you, so we will skip that area till we can get a radiation suit. Or if it's one of those things. I do have uh, plenty of health, but I don't want to accidentally just waste it just because I can. Some random crushers. Oop. That's the only thing I hate about these pl the plasma gun is that any little thing will accidentally stop the plasma if you're way too close to a corner even though your crosshair is not exactly on the money for hitting that item yeah so either a they took out the sound effect for when you pick up items or the sound effect is just that low and the music is just overpowering it all right so this is one of those things where we have to what am i stuck on that's nothing. That's just a teleporter, so I'll wait for that to go back up again really quick. But I think one of them... What the hell just happened? Anyway, so let's, uh... Yeah, even the fucking... Even the fucking switch kind of sounded faint, which is kind of stupid. Did anything open? All right, not sure where that teleporter is going to take me, so let's go ahead and do a, a quick save. Oh. <laughs> well, then you should have Patrick log in prior to then, just in case. All right. Actually, let's do this. For glory! Got all of them except for one. Okay, oh, there's a berserk, so that'll help out a lot. And that's gonna take me in there. That's going to take me in there. How's the music on your end there? I mean, I hope it's not too overpowering. I did um, make the adjustments before I actually started streaming. So I know this game was fucking loud as fuck. Uh, it's loud as fuck for me, but I, uh, I paid attention to the OBS audio while it was running in the background so I can dial it down to where it's not going to be overly powering on your guys' end. Oh, really? The exit's there already? But I'm not done yet. I still want to finish exploring.
actually be quite honest, as much as I want to fuck, I should probably just move on before my dumbass accidentally forgets how I actually got here. I mean, I know there's a, a certain path when you're in, outside in the main... What the fuck? Is there a switch that I didn't see? Or... Oh, right there. Hold on, let's uh, do a quick walk around real quick, because... I don't think there's really anything significant outside. Well, I mean, there might be some stuff, so let's go ahead and just do this really quick. And then... I think that opens the next one, or doesn't. Let's see, because I know each teleporter opens... I think, uh, or do they just automatically open after I kill the Baron? I don't remember. Because nothing else... I thought, yeah, because nothing else opened. So let's go ahead and loot this area really quick. So we can max out our ammo and stuff. So let's... Let's go this way. All right, so now it's back this way, through here, and I guess we'll just say fucking call it good. Okay. All right. Unholy Cathedral done. Mount Erebus. Now this one is mostly strictly an outdoor area or open open outdoor area instead of just being confined indoors like the majority of the levels in um, Classic Doom. I mean, I, I, I really like the heavy metal aspect. It really kind of, it almost makes you feel like you're playing like Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Just in a 8-bit, 16-bit format, whatever this would be considered. I think this would be like 16. I mean, maybe 32, because this was PC, and I know PC had a little bit better graphics than like the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and the Genesis. Alright, so I think that's it for in here. So there's, oh shit, nothing of interest in this area except just killing some demons. Oh, motherfuckers. Actually, I fuck them. Oh shit, I'm out of... And then I saw an imp fireball right there. There you are, you piece of shit. Now I know... I'll get that... What the hell's hitting me? Oh. Piece of shit with your shotgun. Stupid. Inf uh, uh, possessed sergeants, as they're called. Why are they going to be sergeants? Because they got the shotguns? Is the shotgun, like, sergeant saying Halo is reserved for... Uh, a person of a position of authority. And if that's the case, where's the hell is my fucking shotgun in real life? God damn it. Rain bullets upon me! It's a bullet storm! Bitches! Motherfucker. Alright. Where are the rest of the fucks at? You're dead. And I think for this one... I forgot if there's keys or not. And if there is, there's probably only going to be one. Because there's not really much to this area. So we got the invulnerability right there. But let's go ahead and save that really quick for when we want to start adventuring into the, uh, the lava fields. and finish eviscerating everything within these... Where's the, another door? Or do, I, or do I have to teleport in here? Where's the fucking door for this area? No, that's not it. Uh, maybe we 
I guess we teleport in there, so let's go ahead and check here. Before we try and exit this level. It's empty hell! Or imps galore. You missed me, bitch, and you had a chance to hit me from behind! Biatch! Oh shit, no. Two of those things open up, I didn't even notice. Alright. They had a chance to pick me from behind and they failed, bitches. Oh, there's two invulnerabilities, so I can actually take my time trying to explore these different areas. Or these outside areas in the uh, lava pits. Die, you sons of bitches! Yeah, like I said, the feature of the um, screen... Okay, that's the eggs, I think. Alright, let me pick up that cell. Alright, so, I think... That's the... I know that's the secret exit right there, but I think they changed it from, or at least I, I, on this Nintendo, Super Nintendo version of this game, I think they changed it because before, you used to be able to run in here no problem. So I'm wondering if there's a secret teleporter or you can run into it, but you gotta run into it at a certain angle. Cause this would take you to the secret level for um, episode three. Oh shit, there's hell of these fucking things all over the place. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's the only thing I hate about Lost Souls is they can they can be a nuisance. But they're also idiots who will fight each other too, just like the zombie soldiers if they hit each other. Alright, now I can just deal with you really quick. Big ugly floating head. Alright, now let's. Oh shit! Of course, I teleport into a fucking enemy. So let's. Let's see if we can try and make this jump really quick. I don't think we. Actually, what's in here? Uh, let me save really quick just in case I fuck myself. Oh, clearly I uh, killed a. Okay, so that's how you get in here. So clearly I killed a lost soul or something by teleporting on top of it. Oh, shit. Ow. I'm firing at different angles! They won't leave me alone! Okay, he went away for a moment, so... Alright, so there's the blue key, so I guess there are keys for this area. Probably to get to the, the main exit, but we're gonna try and see if we can somehow try and land ourselves in the secret exit, but... Like I said, the secret exit setup is a little bit different on... on this version of Doom versus when I played it on the Super NES. So now let's go. Actually, let's, uh, where was, let's grab this first one real quick and do a little exploration real quick out here. That a secret? Nope. That? Nope. Yes, this is one. Actually, not. Fuck it. I have the Berserk, so, and I have the Invulnerability, so let's go ahead and just fuck these motherfuckers up right now real quick, if I can. Oh shit. Of course it runs out when I want to fucking go after the Kako Demon. Alright. So now let's grab this Radiation Suit so we can 
get the fuck on out of here. And like I said, they took away some of the features that I don't like because technically my screen should be tinted green right now to indicate that I'm wearing the radiation suit so I can know whether or not if I should get the fuck off this area before it goes away. Okay, so that's the exit. So before we go there, and we can always grab the invulnerability after the fact, because there's another invulnerability around us. Have to remember where it's at. Oh, another map. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Where was that teleporter at? It should be... here. So we'll try this like once, maybe. Fuck. Alright. Like I said, you should be able to run through that, so maybe I'm just not timing it right. Let's try it one more time. Before I just say fuck because I'm wasting... Oh shit. Damn it! I know I was close. So basically... Oh, god damn it. So basically, the secret episode is basically um, an extended version of the very first level of this, where there's... Um, when you go to where you think is the uh, the exit, it actually drops uh, the walls surrounding it actually drop down, and there's a cyber demon waiting for you. And then behind the cyber demon, or I think you have to kill the cyber demon first, and then the um, the secret path, uh, or excuse me, the exit reveals itself. And then that how, that's how the uh, exit for ah uh, there it is for um, fucking the secret episode. And there's a couple of other extra stuff that they added uh, too. Uh, yes, here it is. God damn it. Alright, let's get this shit over with. Well, that was uh, probably like five or ten minutes of time wasted for, no no for nothing. Jesus Christ, so that was about five to eight minutes of time wasted then. Got 100% kills though, so I guess I can't complain too much. Alright, Limbo. I actually like this level. This level is all indoors. You don't even see the outside, the outside world one bit. But I do like the music. Well, I think the older version of the music was probably sounds a little bit more um, creepier than this. Because with a slight heavier type aspect, it doesn't sound as creepy or would fit the creepiness for like this type of for this type of level. All right, come to me. Yeah, and of course, only it only hurts the other one, but it was enough to just kill him with my rocket launcher. Where the hell did the other one go? I thought there was three. Alright, so like always, I like to go from left to right first. This opens up into something eventually. It's not at that, or maybe it opened up now, let's see. Something opened, but not what I was expecting. Alright, let's go ahead. Get back to back up to a more open area with all these fucking pinkies coming after my ass. All right, so Mount Erebus. I need to make a note to edit some of that shit or the extra wander, senseless wandering around because I was an idiot who forgot where the fucking exit was. Now, where was I? Okay, here we go. Alright, blue key. But does this open? Not yet. I think this opens this, I think. Nope. I guess that doesn't open it. What does that little path open then? And I know there's a thing on teleporter on that side, but I don't have the red key yet, because all those teleporters require a red key, so there's no point in going over there at the moment. 
and same thing for there. All these pillars that have uh, that have a teleporter don't are just a waste of time unless you have the red key. So let's go. I think this. Yeah, the, we'll go this way first, real quick. I forgot if this is where we get the red key or not. Or is there something I'm supposed to activate first? Because I thought there was this wall dropped. Ah, here we go. I think. Yep. Hello, Mr. Baron. How are you? Alright, now let's go ahead and drop that again. Since Mr. Baron's out of the way. Now that... Okay. Get a step. So that just opens... This lifts that up, but... Of course, we don't have the red key. So we will move on for right now. I don't know if I pay Doom, but I play Doom. They're soulless. Alright, let me get the cackles out. Out of their little hiding holes. Or are they locked into place? Oh, they must be. Oh, I think they're locked into place. For the game parameters for uh, this for for over here. Actually, why am I not using my chain gun? Chain gun is a little bit better for further dis. Okay, so that's gonna drop me into a pit. But I think okay, well I'm kind of screwed myself down. But I think the pit kind of hurts us, so, so I'm gonna save really quick just in case. Alright. Okay, so I accidentally picked up a radiation suit, so might as well haul ass for right now. Okay, grab another radiation suit so we don't burn alive and cook ourselves to death. Alright, so there's the red red key. Not, I forgot what that opens up, but we will get this teleporter. That takes us back. Oh, so that's, okay. That's just a teleporting mark. That doesn't, uh, this doesn't open yet? Okay, so let's go over here then, to this red door. Aha! Good thing we chose here, so I can take these fuckers out real quick, without getting hurt. And clear this way out when we get to, because that's the exit, if I remember correctly. So that lifts up, or probably opens this, it might finally open up this other area, let's see. Do I still have the radiation suit on? Because I'm surprised I haven't gotten hurt yet. Okay, so that is done. So let's check here. Up oh, this one, they actually make it go all the way around. Alright, so this one, I need the yellow key. I mean, yeah, the yellow key, so... We have to remember yellow key for there. And... There's this one. Let's check this one out really quick. So this one's just a secret. Don't know why they consider it a secret, but... Whatever, I'll just count it. All right, so let's go back this way. And then we will, before we go straight over there, let's go ahead and check this out really quick. Okay, so this is going to unlock. Yep, we need the yellow key, so that, because that's gonna lift, put, create the lift over there to get there, if I remember correctly, but we don't have the yellow key yet, so we're gonna have to do this. Alright, so left or right. So we'll left first, I guess, like always. Alright, so that. I'm dying, man! Okay, cool, I got help. And we got a radiation suit to help. 
Alright, so that takes us to the yellow skull key. And this level is actually not as long, if I remember correctly. So now we gotta go back here first, if I remember correctly. So there. And then it's this way. This one. And I, I know for a fact we're not going to 100% this level, but it is what it is. And there you go. Level done. Now it's time to face the Senor Spider Mastermind. How long did that one take? Alright. Now to face the master of all that is evil for the first Doom game. Alright, he's over there. Let's go ahead and collect all these rockets and shit first. Even though we do have the BFG, but I like to just run around these guys to get them to kind of fight each other too. Cause I know the spot they'll attack the spider mastermind, especially if the spider ah oh shit. Especially if the spider mastermind open fires on them. And that would be the Spider Mastermind fucking unloading on my ass. So let's go ahead and... Oh, okay. So the Spider Mastermind is already shooting at the Caco Demon. So he already done fucked up and shot the Caco Demon. So we will have a little fun and have Senor Mastermind... Oh, yeah. All three of them are on his ass. Well, except for the Baron. The Baron's still trying to get me. And then there is a armor blue armor and a plasma gun here but like I said we're gonna have a little fun at the moment and let these guys have their little squabble up oh, okay so come on mastermind shoot the shoot the Baron shoot the Baron shoot the Baron come on Baron shoot the Baron you fucking stupid ugly fuck shoot the Baron all right you know fuck you man there we go that's right. You two fight. And I died. Oh well. Before we started this, but that's also my fault. There we go, you cocksucker. Now that only took three tries, but sure only noticed only should have taken one try. <laughs> the loathsome spider meaning spider demon that masterminded the invasion of the moon bases and caused so much death has had its ass kicked for all time. A hidden doorway opens and you enter. You've proven too much too tough for hell to contain. And now howl at last plays fair. For you emerge from the door to see the green fields of Earth. Home at last. You wonder what's been happening on Earth while you were battling evil unleashed. It's good that no Hellspawn could have come through that door with you. Ooh, it's a rabbit in the fields. And then it slowly scrolls over to a city under fire. That's all. That's basically in a fiery inferno hail. And then look, it's our poor pet rabbit Daisy head on a pike so obviously back in the day I'm pretty sure you just assumed that's just how they showed the ending but at the same time it's also left it open to let you know hey there's gonna be a possibly another doom game all right so that would be or excuse me that would conclude episode three of doom so, like I said, not sure if I would go back and replay episodes one and two. If I did, I probably would just for the fact uh, of the uh, remixing music. And then, obviously, the next Doom episode will be the fourth episode, which is the fourth episode is what um, actually more so has a, a, a better ending that actually leads up to Doom 2 because this was actually made after the fact when um, Doom 2 has already been out for a while. So... That'll be at a later time. So, 
until next time, I will see you all in the next one. Take care of yourselves.